welcome to my bedroom guys i don't know why i have never filmed in here it's been over probably a year and a half let's see if you guys can find when was the last time i filmed in here finding the perfect top or pair of jeans has always been a big struggle for me whenever i go shopping standing at just five two i find clothing just never really quite fits me right things are usually oversized baggy or just ill-fitting today i'm bringing it back to the basics and sharing with you step by step how i like to put together outfits different tips tricks and clothing hacks i thought it'd be really fun to dig into my closet and find clothing that's oversized that's in season on trend but show you how i like to style it and be sure to to subscribe if you're new. I know a lot of you guys who have stumbled across this video might not know me, so be sure to subscribe. I love uploading clothing hack videos like this. So without further ado, let's get started. A great base layer for oversized clothing is a fitted top, pair of jeans or pants, and some over-the-knee boots. I love matching my pants with my boots just because it elongates my body, makes me look a lot slimmer and taller. popular fall fashion trend is oversized sleeves. I love the look. However, if you're insecure about your arms looking larger than usual and just a bit bigger than you want them to be, a great way to style oversized sleeves is by pairing it with overalls. These overalls are of a thicker corduroy material so it really anchors down the look because the sleeves are super flowy and billowy and I really love the way these two different fabrics look paired together. I don't know about you guys, but I've been obsessed with shirling coats. They're so cute, so fuzzy. I just love it because it reminds me of a really cozy blanket. <laughs> Chances are, if you've gone fall clothing shopping, you've probably seen a Sherling oversized coat. These coats are so freaking hot that they sell out so quickly and the sizing is always gone. I'm only able to get a size medium. It definitely overwhelms my body type. It doesn't look as good as it could be, so I highly recommend unzipping your coat if you live in a warmer climate. So the trick to styling an oversized Sherling coat is by wearing a more fitted uniform underneath, like a pair of jeans and fitted top. Bella, is this outfit Bella approved? Blink once if it is. For my third style hack, the best way to style puffy jackets like this is by going with a monochromatic face. So on top, I'm wearing this black mock neck sweater tucked into these black skinny jeans and these black over the knee boots. I feel like the base is super slimming and it makes for a great canvas for this really bright and lovely puffer jacket. I found this coat for $15 from H&M. It's so soft and cuddly. It makes me feel like a giant baby blue marshmallow. Queen of discount moment. Um, I am obsessed. I wore it all throughout my Vancouver trip last year and it kept me super warm and cozy. Yeah, I love this cowl neck sweater. Like it's perfect for Thanksgiving and hiding your food baby and all of your yummy snacks, you know? Like if you're feeling a little bit hungry, so perfect for that. Give this video a big thumbs up if you love sweater weather. So the first tip is to tuck in the sweater into the skirt. I love this leather skirt. I've had it for about three years now and I wear it every single fall and winter. The cozy cowl neck part is nice and it's great for hiding from your family members during the holidays, you know, when you don't wanna look at someone. I highly recommend bringing your hair up into an updo just so you can highlight your neck area that's lost from the sweater. So if you haven't seen my most recent video on how to spice up your hair for the fall winter season, be sure to click right here to go watch it. I share about seven different hairstyles with you guys and different ways to do updos for second and third day hair. I love the look of a messy bun. I think it complements this turtleneck sweater so well. Another fall trend is the oversized thermal top. I think this is great because you could wear it to sleep and also wear it to class or school. The best clothing hack for oversized tops is to add a knot. You can either add a knot in the front like this, hide the tag, and it definitely highlights your waist area and cinches you in. 
have a lot more shape. It shows off your curves a lot more. You can also tuck it in just to give a more fitted look to your oversized top. Another perk of being short is that all oversized sweaters end up looking like a sweater dress. How many of you guys can relate to that? Here's some accessories that you can add to jazz up your plain sweaters. So I put on top this wool hat and then I have this very festive belt with these nice shiny buckles. Gives you more shape and makes you look a lot more curvy. As a petite girl standing at just 5'2", I find that wide leg pants are the most challenging type of clothing for me to style. I usually have a hard time finding the right fit and length because it usually drags on the floor and it's not cute. I saved the best outfit for last. I don't know what to call it yet, but I love all the different shades of beige and tan. I think it looks very grown up. When it comes to styling wide leg pants, I love wearing a base layer that's more fitted like this bodysuit. I love this one from Airy. I feature it all the time in my nothing to wear videos. On top, I'm wearing this camel coat that is also quite oversized. I find that since I kept the palette quite monochromatic and in a similar like color family, it tends to match very well. For an extra layer of warmth, I wore this scarf that I've had for a few years now. It has beautiful tones of blush, gray, and beige. So those are all of my different clothing hacks and outfit ideas. Be sure to click on the i button over here and vote on what videos you want me to make next. Follow me on Instagram if you want more style inspiration and daily outfit ideas. I love you guys all so, so much and I hope you're having a great November so far. Bye!